Alright, what's up guys, single player Nacho here. Welcome to a world of pain and vomit bags. These are 10 BOWs with the most disturbing lore in Resident Evil. Everything that breathes in the RA series is mind-numbingly gross. Even some of the heroes are weird, aka Leon S. Kennedy. These monsters offer a little extra bit of shivers down your spine due to their insane backstory or creation in general. These aren't just scary BOWs. If you look a little closer at their hidden details, you'll find something so disturbing, so grotesque. It makes you think about the next time you encounter these creatures. Without further ado, let's get to it. Resident Evil Dead Aim, Pluto. Pluto is already a scary, Play-Doh looking enemy. It's big, it hulks over the player, and believe it or not, it's considered a tyrant. It's a little unbelievable because tyrants are usually sexy beasts. This is not sexy. But Pluto's disturbing origins are pretty similar to Tyrant origins. Pluto was once a prisoner that was given to Umbrella for supposed pharmaceutical trials. Instead, the prisoner was tortured heavily. A metal rod was placed in his head so that he'd stop responding to pain. His eyes were removed. I mean, you name it. What's left of that prisoner is what you're looking at now, just a big clay monster. Next up, Resident Evil Revelations, Comms Officer. Now this is a truly hideous account and BOW. When you mix fish DNA and zombie ass, you get the comms officer in Resident Evil Revelations. There are simply too many appendages to list, and overall this thing is just really hard to describe. The disturbing fact behind the comms officer is the journal he left behind before turning into a monster. You can slowly see his brain functions worsen. His final words are hardly readable. If you listen closely, the comms officer's horrifying dialogue can be heard. Don't feel like myself anymore. Get me out of here. I need to get now. Next up, Resident Evil Zero, Leeches. Leeches in Resident Evil Zero are mostly overlooked as dumb little parasites that don't really do much. But that's just incorrect. One of the more disturbing things that I found about Resident Evil Zero was the intro animation itself. The look on the cabin crew's faces. They were truly terrified by these things. And it just seems like a painful death. They have sharp teeth. So if this thing sticks on you, it's gonna take a chunk from your person. Even more disturbing yet, there are thousands of them. Next up, Resident Evil 4, Armadura. Just listen to the footsteps of the armadura and tell me you wouldn't relieve yourself immediately. Top tier horror. The armadura are more than just plug infested sets of armor. The organic biology behind them is easily one of the more hidden disturbing pieces of lore. The armor is actually empty. There aren't any corpses inside of them, but the plaga is so intelligent it actually stretches itself out in the entire armor set, mimicking the armadura's arms to swing and its legs to walk. How the hell did the Plaga learn how to do this stuff? Next up, Resident Evil 7, Mama Mold. Thanks Lucas for welcoming us to your barn fight, you dickhead. And it's a perfect introduction to the molded variant known as the Fat Molded. These things chase you mercilessly and vomit acid attacks at the player. Even more disturbing, is the even bigger version of the Fat Molded, known as Mama Mold. She's huge, her face is extra scary, and she's also immune to most firepower. Easily the most disturbing fact behind this creature is the fact that it can breed tiny creatures known as Little Crawlers, one of the few BOWs that have been known to uh, give birth, which should be illegal. Next up, Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles, Sergei Vladimir. You take one look at Sergei Vladimir and you just know he's done some disturbing stuff. His face is disturbing. But this Umbrella operative was also obsessed with making versions of himself into tyrants. He sculpted test subjects into monsters that closely resembled him. What a creepy douche. Worse yet is his final transformation. And that's what I love about Resident Evil. We get to see the truly insufferable creatures that the villains are. On the inside, and the outside. Good riddance. Next up, Resident Evil 6, House. House may just be the most terrifying thing to ever grace the RE series. 
This skull-faced, ginormous, amphibious mess is disturbing simply by just looking at it. And if you did, you'd easily be dwarfed by dozens of feet, and it would kill you easily. The fact that some mad scientist created an entire underwater lab just to house this thing, pun intended, is disturbing beyond belief. Makes you think what other ideas they had cooking. Next up, Resident Evil 2, G. Welcome to the hideous and god-awful sewers of Raccoon City. If you're a Resident Evil nerd like me, you know about all the other stuff that's happened down here. The focus today is on the G monsters, bubbly looking creatures with a penchant to infect and infest you. But this attack is much more than just to harm. The disturbing fact behind G's is that they do this, shove things down your throats to impregnate you. There are many instances of embryos leaving or hatching from their hosts, alien style, ripping their chests open. That in itself is just wrong in many levels. Hell of a way to have a child though. Next up, Resident Evil Revelations 2, Vulcan Blubber. Every single BOW in Revelations 2 can have a spot on this list, in fact, they probably should. But the Vulcan Blubber's height and usage of fire is so out of left field for these monsters, makes you wonder how the hell they were even made. Who was the Vulcan Blubber in its past life? A pyromancer? Just goes to show how strong the viruses in Resident Evil really are. It also reminds me of a doomed creature, so there's that. And last but certainly not least, Resident Evil, Lisa Trevor. If you've watched any of my previous RE lists, you'll start to notice a trend here. Lisa Trevor places pretty high on them, and it's simply a fact. Lisa's entire being is filled with tragedy and sorrow, but easily the most disturbing fact about Lisa is that she wears human faces as a mask. Not just any human faces, the faces of imposters of her parents, people that resemble Lisa's mother and father. That sentence has definitely put me on a watch list somewhere. Everything about this nearly invincible monster will make your spine shiver. Well, thank you so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. Let me know which BOW disturbed you the most and what feature or lore of theirs made you scared. Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more horror lore, lists, and mysteries. Have an awesome rest of your day. And as always, stay single.